A lot of people have been asking for a tutorial on how to make an inventory system. Honestly, it's not something that's hard to make, but I guess that when you're a beginner, everything looks more complicated than it actually is. I'm going to show you a simple way you can create an inventory system using modules for it. Of course, there are other more efficient ways of going about the inventory system, but I'd say from all the ways I can think of, this is probably the simplest one or the more beginner friendly one. This video is probably gonna have one or two sequels. If this video gets to 250 likes, then I'll make part two. In this video, we'll create the base system for the inventory and we'll also be setting up the UI to display your inventory. And in future sequels, I'll just expand on what we've built. With all this being said, let's start the video. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is create the script that's going to create the player's inventory and store it. Before we do any scripting, we're gonna want to do a couple of things first to set all of this up. Create a folder called the player inventories in replicated storage and inside it, insert a module script and call it inventory template. Inside the module, you're gonna want to add an element called inventory to the module table and set it equal to an empty list. This list right here is where we're gonna put all the names of the items that the player owns. I'm gonna explain the purpose of this file during the module a bit further since it might be a a little bit confused. Inside this folder, each time a player connects to the game, we're gonna duplicate this inventory template module and parent the clone of said module to the player inventories folder. We'll also rename the clone to the ID of the player. So essentially, this folder is going to hold all the player inventories in the server. The script that's going to manage all of this that I just said is a script here in service script service called player added. Since we're gonna need to detect when a new player joins the game, we'll need to get the player service. We'll also have to get the player inventories folder that's inside replicated storage as well as the inventory template module. Next, we use the player added event and connect it to a function. The first thing we're gonna do inside this is we're gonna clone the inventory template module. Then we rename it to the user ID of the player so that anytime we want to check for the inventory of the player, we can just search it by user ID. Obviously, we gotta parent it to the player inventories folder otherwise it won't really be anywhere and once we're done with all that we're gonna require the module you need to do this so that you can modify the content that's inside the module after we do this we're gonna give the player a testing inventory just to see if it works so we're gonna create a list with some names in it we got iron gold and diamond and we're gonna set the inventory element of the player inventory module to the newly created test inventory list and that's gonna update the player's inventory to confirm that it updates player inventory i added a print here that's going to print everything inside the module that stores the player inventory if we test this now you'll see that it prints the test inventory that we have given to the player because that's what we set to the player inventory here inside the module and with this you now have quote-unquote working inventory but we still gotta display it on the screen right that's what this ui here is for if you want it to display on screen then obviously you're gonna need some ui you can just get this ui from the description most of the elements that you see here for the ui are just for design the actual important one here is scroll scrolling frame. A scrolling frame is just what it says, a frame that has scrolling properties. You want to pair it up with the UI grid layout so that your items are automatically ordered according to the size of the scrolling frame. This ain't really a UI video so that's as much as I'm going to say about the UI but you got access to this so just mess around with the properties if you want to know how it works. Another very important thing is the item template text button you see here. This is like the template for the items that the UI is going to show. If you don't have this then you'll find yourself having to manually create the UI using scripts and no one's doing all that. So when working with these, always make sure to have your item template ready. And what that template is meant to be used for is we're going to duplicate this template button once for every item the player owns and we're going to set the visibility property of them to true. How do we do that? Through the use of local scripts and that's what this load inventory script here is for but that's for part two. So if you want part two, you know the drill, 250 likes or no part two. The most important message here I want you to take away from this video is the that inventory itself is something that is not really hard to make it's just like a list and you have to store it somewhere in future videos regarding inventory i'll explain how to properly manage inventory meaning adding functions to a framework so you can properly manage your system but for the time being we're gonna leave it here if this video gets enough support then i guess i'll just keep uploading videos about inventory so if you're interested in that then you know what to do we've got a discord server link in the description and with all of that being said keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when I see you, peace.